millimeter Allen had to take that out. So here we are guys, we've got shop air hooked up over on the passenger side cylinder head and you can hear the air leak very, very easily. Um, so we've torn this side down, it was the easiest side to get off, we do have air hissing on the other side too, so it only makes sense to go ahead and change both. So Caden, won't you go ahead and get up there and show everybody what you found. So if you look, this is either a dummy plug or a standpipe, I don't know for sure yet. Uh, I want to say it's a standpipe, either way. You notice if you put your finger over it, you can hear a change in tone. So we're getting ready to pull it out, but we're both betting that when that comes out, we'll be able to see some kind of visible damage on an O-ring. And I imagine we'll run into a very similar issue on the other side, because the, the oil rail setup is similar on both sides. So. Like I said, I imagine these trucks aren't really known for blowing a whole lot other than, well, I guess commonly. Commonly, they are known to go through standpipes and dummy plugs. It's just, regardless of the year, it's just unfortunately a common problem. So we'll get that pulled out, and uh, like I said, I'm sure we'll be able to see something on it. So one thing that we've noticed so far also is that this has got a 10 millimeter head on it. And the upgraded ones are 12 millimeters, so that leads us to believe that almost 200,000 miles that this is still stock. So it's a good idea to just tear it down anyway. Like Caden just said, I'm sure that we're going to find the O-ring on the bottom of that is just shot, and it gives us the opportunity to go ahead and change both sides and do a couple other upgrades while we're at it. So let's go ahead and pull it out and see what we get. Well, and real quick, you know, that, that does go to uh, kind of preach or show a little bit. Everybody rags on these trucks for being junk, but take care of them. I mean, look at this. Like you said, almost 200,000 miles. And as far as we know, the valve cover has never been torn apart. It's never had a leak there, at least. That, I mean, whereas you get some people that say 50,000, 60, 100, 150, they've, they've all, they've, you know, they're doing major overhauls at that point. Just take care of them. I'm not saying it can't happen, but your odds are definitely better. And here we go. Let's see what she looks like. So this, I believe, uh, you know, I was unsure before. I'm pretty sure this is a dummy plug. The stand pipes are larger, and look at that. Look at the O-ring. Look at the O-ring. That's trashed. And it's actually, you can feel it if you want, but it feels not brittle enough that it feels like hard plastic, but it definitely feels. I'm gonna turn my light on my camera real fast so I can get a better look at that. Thinning it quicker. All right, guys, so I got my video light on now. Let's look at this O-ring. So that O-ring, is destroyed. So if you look, the upper one looks okay. I mean, it looks like a normal O-ring, but then yeah, this, this bottom one is, is shot. And you know what's weird was we were feeling pressure come through the center, which actually, I don't know exactly how they work, but either way, I mean, if you can feel a leak near it. That O-ring is flat on the spot on the spots that it's not completely destroyed too, so it's just perished. I mean, there's no. Well, yeah. I mean, even this upper one, right? It yeah. Doesn't look great. It looks much better than that, but I'd say that was the leak. Yeah. There's Bob's your uncle. Huh. All right. So as you guys know now, we got a little bit more to do here. Um, we got to tear apart the driver's side. We've got parts ordered for this. Caden and I are going to sit down in a little bit and talk about this job so far. All right, guys, so we just got the valve cover torn off the other side and got everything torn down. And we checked for leaks again with air, and it's not near as dramatic. But we came across something very interesting that I wanted to show you guys. You remember how we said over here that this one had never been changed. Well, this is a 10 millimeter Allen head right here. Stock is 10 millimeter. The upgraded ones are 12. Guess what's in the other side? That is a 12. 
So that one right there is one of the newer upgraded ones. Or it's a 12 millimeter anyway, so it's definitely different than the other side. So we're gonna go ahead and pull that out nonetheless and check and see what's going on with it. But one of them may have been replaced before. So it's just interesting to note stuff like that when you're going along that there's differences that we've noticed now from side to side. So we're gonna pull it out and check it out and see if the O-ring is near as perished as the other side. Uh, it's gonna get replaced anyway because we're pulling it out, but it's always good to just kind of double check this stuff and see where we're at. So once we get it pulled out, we'll come back to you. So here we are taking the other side out and we'll give it a quick look. So you guys notice any difference? Right off the bat, you can see that there's Teflon seals here and here, and these O-rings are not near as perished as the one on the other side. These are actually kind of plump and still round. They're not flattened out completely, so they haven't been heat cycled too much. So I'm gonna say that one right there has probably been replaced. So word to the wise next time do them both because that one doesn't look like it was replaced too long ago and the one on the other side just failed. So once again, proof positive, doing both at once, right, Caden? Yeah, well, and what you know what's funny is that's the easier side to do. <laughs> so I mean, what, well, and but and then again, you know, you look, rule of thumb with these is always to do, you know, whether you just do one side or not, do both, uh, dummy plugs and stand pipes. But I'm guessing, because that's still a 10, that the, the stand pipe was never replaced, just the dummy plug. So it probably had a leak at the dummy plug and the the new single plug fixed it and that's all they did. They didn't replace the standpipe, which to be fair is a pain on this side. But yeah, I mean, uh, in the in the grand scheme of things, I still just say, because they're not that expensive, uh, just do, do it all and be done with it because you'll wind up doing it all over again. Awesome. Two days later. Fourth play when it's out. Yeah, it's probably a good call replacing that. Full rotations, huh? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, this suspense is too much. I hope it is five. I assume that flange would go on the bottom and probably meet with the... Yeah. So I wonder if these are torqued to yield bolts.
Okay, so we're putting the H-pop back in, and uh, I just wanted to cover something really quick before uh, before we get started actually putting the pop in. Um, so if you look, let me try to get a good shot of it here. Uh, you'll see an O-ring here. Oh, that one, the yellow one there. And then there's also one uh, back here on the, or no, I'm sorry right here on top of the uh, branch tube where your uh, your new like SDC fitting replacement will bolt to so there's an o-ring there and then there's an o-ring right there as well make sure you replace those um, that'll be another you know point of of leak for uh, any potential air leaks or whatever um, <clears throat> if you do the SDC kit from Ford it comes with new o-rings for both of those uh, let me see if I can get a part number really quick. Um, so there is the the OE4 part number if, if anybody wants to do that kit. That's the uh, H-Pop reseal kit, I guess you would call it for a 06 anyway. Comes with um, all the stuff you would have already seen. So the, the main gasket for the H-Pop housing, the new snap to connect fitting replacement, uh, it comes with a gasket for the H-pop cover. It comes with new bolts for both the branch tube and the actual H-pop mounting bolts. Uh, it comes with those two O-rings I just mentioned, and it also comes with a IPR screen and seal uh, replacement kit, all in that one package. And I think that one package is like 40 bucks. It's also it's really worth doing. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and I got those O-rings out. These are what the old ones look like. Um, they don't look bad, but again, I mean, while you're there, you might as well do them. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna get this laid in there and uh, torque down and everything, and I'll I'll uh, shoot another segment once we get it once we get it back in and uh, in place and bolt bolted down. And I'll cover anything that might come up between now and then. Okay, so um, I just got the pump back in. Everything's torqued down, in place, ready to go, with the exception of the uh, um, H pop cover itself, which is just the aluminum cover that sits over this. So I just wanted to cover a couple more things really quick. Um, when you're pulling those O-rings off of like where the bottom of the bump sits and the um, O-ring for the branch tube, obviously be super careful that you don't drop them because if you drop them, it goes straight down into the motor, which uh, would not be good. Um, one more thing, so torque spec on the bolts that hold the uh, high pressure oil pump itself in those are the three uh, Torx head bolts. Torque spec for that is 23 foot pounds. And then the uh, let's see the branch tube bolts back there, the two little eight millimeter hex heads. Those uh, torque spec is eight foot pounds. Um, and I'll just be honest, I was able to torque the uh, the right one here, but the left one I couldn't get a torque wrench on. So I just um, <laughs> a little trick. What I did was I took this uh, ratchet here that actually does fit on that back one and I put it on the one that I could get a wrench on and that was torqued to spec and kind of felt how tight it was and then I just tried to match it the best I could on the uh, passenger side. So just another quick little uh, update here, the uh, H-pop cover is on, uh, all the bolts are torqued to spec, that's one, two, three eight of them. Uh, make sure when you go to put it back on that you put silicone on the back two joints. Um, you should see it when you pull your cover off. It's just where the rear cover meets the block. And because it's a seam, uh, you need silicone on top of the regular gasket there to keep it from leaking. Uh, these bolts, so all the cover bolts, are torqued to eight foot-pounds. Um, one more little thing worth mentioning, I guess. Uh, so obviously you can see the uh, heat shield bolt there is in. However, when we pulled the cover the first time, we went ahead and cut that one. So uh, you can kind of see it there where it's cut. It's not gonna hurt anything. It just, it's literally just there to hold the heat shield on. So we'll, uh, we'll leave that off and we'll just leave it like it sits. But uh, yeah, the cover's back on. We're gonna get the IPR back in. Then start doing uh, stand pipes and dummy plugs, get the valve covers back together and uh, basically start throwing this thing back together. Still waiting on the EGR cooler, so um, we won't get any of the intake stuff done tonight, but we should be able to get 
both the valve covers back on and uh, basically tie together everything except the intake. Cool. Okay, so we're getting ready to put standpipes and dummy plugs in and I just wanted to take a second to uh, kind of show you the difference between the, I guess, the original design and the updated design. So, this is the, for the standpipe, this is the original design that came out of the truck. So as you can see, uh, it's just a single o-ring there in the middle and again, a single o-ring there at the bottom as well as a, I believe it's a 10 millimeter Allen. And then the updated design is, you can see, uh, if it'll focus, there it goes. Uh, you can see the, the, the same single O-ring with a, what I think it's a Teflon uh, type ring that goes around it. That it's my understanding is used to just apply pressure to that O-ring to keep it in place. Same thing on the bottom, or no, I'm sorry. The bottom is still just a single O-ring. And then the uh, the hex head or the Allen head on top is actually bigger as well. That's what I, I believe it's now a 12 millimeter. And the OE part number for the updated standpipes are 6 ez or E7Z dash 9A332 dash A1X. Uh, same thing with the dummy plugs. So again you can see single o-ring single o-ring and then again i believe that's an eight millimeter hex or allen the updated design has got uh again the single o-ring with a teflon ring on top and then on the bottom it's a teflon ring on the bottom and then a another single o-ring uh oh and also again bigger head so uh, on this particular truck Somebody had been in there before and replaced a single dummy plug and that was it. So I guess there was, my guess would be there was a leak there and they just replaced that instead of doing the whole, uh, the whole thing with, you know, both sets of dummy plugs and standpipes. But we're going to go ahead and do all of it. So, uh, yeah, we'll get them back in and see what happens. Sixty point seven. All right, so sixty foot pounds, standpipe, and dummy plugs. Make sure you lubricate the O-rings, snug those things down. Next, I think he is going to move on to the other side and get it buttoned up. That way we can start reassembling the valve covers and more stuff on the top end. Doing a, a pressure bleed down test. Um, we have pressurized it to 150 PSI and we know that there is some um, bleed down that's gonna happen, but we are watching the rate it happens. Now before, it was bleeding down near immediately. As soon as you let off the handle, it was coming straight down, it was plummeting straight down. But now we've been above 140 pounds of pressure for a few minutes now. So everything is holding good. We uh, do have everything turned off. Uh, we were getting some reverb as far as sound goes off the heater. And, but we also figured out, believe it or not, that the uh, block heater is extremely noisy. Um, it makes a lot of noise, it hisses against the block. So what we at first thought may have been a small leak was actually just that. So we unplugged it and everything's good to go. We're gonna sit here and watch this a while longer. Caden, how are you feeling so far? Optimistic. Optimistic? Very. Very optimistic. We'll catch back up with you guys.